Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we actually are going up uh, Daniel's Ridge. Who planned this route? Who, which one of you guys? That guy? Okay, so he's got some information for us. This is actually my buddy Matt. Him and his wife, Tara, actually own Nature Trails. And we're going out for a ride because I want to get my fitness back. What really happened is Matt is just kicking me in Tara's butt. He's out front by himself. We can't hear him. We can't smell him. We can't taste him. And then me and Tara in the back just uh, enjoying a casual ride we planned on. But, so what is the route we're doing today? Uh, Davidson River to Cove Creek up, down Daniels Ridge, uh, back up gravel, down Butter Gap. And then, a long branch. And that's going to spin us back out of the fish hatchery? Yep. And we are getting back to doing some POV rides. So, about to strap you on the helmet and we're going to head down the trail. Hope you enjoy the ride. I think the intersection is pretty close. We'll come down and we'll hit it and it's like we turn right. Yeah. But as we go down that, there's a couple sections that we could session. I know there's like a big rock off to the right that people have built a little like ride up onto and it has a drop off. Okay. Um, I've hit it before, it. but it's, it always seems out of line when I come down, so I usually don't hit it. We need to go look at it if you want to get some footage of it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, look, I'm cool with just the fact that I got this helmet on and the GoPro running. <laughs> we ain't got to do nothing extra that we wouldn't have done anyways. Right, you ready? Shock's open. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right Riding around getting it. Clipped in. Yeah, a big bike. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that 2.9. Oh, so pretty much riding this trail blind because I, uh, it's been so long since I rode it. Matt is a professional trail builder of nature trails. Him and his wife Tara own nature trails. And uh, he's definitely quite the rider. He definitely used to do a lot of enduro racing with a BMX background racing as a kid, which I feel like a good bit of us kind of did that style and ended up doing mountain biking so oh. Oh. okay oh rock garden to the outside I like that line I am also enjoying I just took this mark helm to the Cane Creek Mark Helm uh, Mark 2 Take it up to 170 and I have been enjoying that extra amount of travel in there. Uh, slacking out the head tube a little bit, but I don't know if I really feel that or if I just feel that a little more punchy. Uh -huh. Ooh, huh? I had to carry some momentum up there. We can, I can foot my dab my way up. Oh, foot dabbed up. Oh, I'm dabbing. Ooh, Ooh high line. Seat down. Boom. This is still fun though, even if you're going slow. Whatever. Seat up. Uh, sometimes I like riding this high line here with the roots because inevitably you're gonna be in some real off camber situations. Uh, where the ride line at speed is definitely poke the front tire and hope for the best and holding you. Ooh, just caught a branch on those cuts on my arm. Just pretty good sized roots. Ooh. Arm, arm rashed up from a Bent Creek experience. Guess we're just gonna whoop off of that. <laughs> okay. So Matt's gone. There was no, I tried to do some follow cam action, but he's gone. He's definitely a very fast rider. This is all riding blind for me. So line choice is really in the moment. There might be some faster lines, but not it when you don't know they're there. Okay, here's something. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so that was probably dumb just to not know it's there. <laughs> but Matt pointed it out for me. <laughs> uh, that was uh, it's a nice little, just a huck off. Yeah, I just hucked in there. You gonna hit it real quick? It wasn't bad. I feel like. Heavier gear coming on there would have been. Yeah, I need to go yeah. <sighs> yeah, Tara! Yes! Okay. Matt's coming right at you right there. I know, I'm getting out of the 
I feel like I have remembered doing this the one time I came and did it. On, or no, he's the only one without pads on. Yeah, yeah. That didn't work. Keep sliding around the corner. Boom. Now we'll see if I can get up, get some action in Mr. Malone here. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. That was the pedal kicking going on. He's already dropping me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was pretty good. Coulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda. I mean, I feel like that had some roots in it before. I feel like you just opened this other line right here. <laughs> That's a pretty big drop. Yeah. That's an. That's a. That's a tough. Out of a switchback. Drop. Into it. What if you did the high line and dropped like that? I don't know, you look at it? Nah, nah, nah. We'll catch it next time. Oh. Uh. Let Terrence swiggle down those. It's probably the gnarliest section of this trail. Huh? I like how there was a beeline choice right there, and then they, they put sticks over it, but like... Well, it used to be... I remember there being a way to roll that. Because I remember this used to be the, more of the drop. The first one, you could roll down. There might have been like loose roots, and then somebody went and cut them out, and then, you know... Oh, now it's a hole. <laughs> so... Huh? Oh, yeah. We got some like flat, techy traverse here. Okay. Matt's actually really good at the techie traverses, flat stuff. We're gonna, uh, we'll give him that credit. <laughs> I, went, I once went to this place called Chapel Hill. It's where he uh, owns another house and did a lot of work out there. And uh, he pretty much just wanted me to ride up a rock, uh, uphill rock garden. And I was like, how is this even possible? And he's just pedaling it out. He's just pedaling it out. That was a nice, that was a nice line choice. Oh, he's gonna jump. Pretty good. Pretty good little section there. So all of that crying, saying you didn't want to see the climb, and I literally stopped like right down that way, and this is actually the beginning of Daniel's Ridge. How many feet have we climbed up to this point? 14, 1500. 14, 1500, 1700, 17, 19, 15. We're just going to mountain bike teen it into climbing. But uh, I probably could have just toughed it and kept recording through all that. But instead, we're going to have a water break. And uh, I'm going to try to keep up with Matt. And uh, he's been already getting me into tech, so we'll see. Yeah! Nicely done, first try. So it's supposed to be a basic ride video I was doing, but we're actually doing a little like line choice, which I really enjoy doing uh, because Tara's getting to learn and see her different perspectives. And I think the best thing you can do is have perspective on a feature, uh, on multiple hitting it and then decide what you like to do personally. Because everybody's style is different. Nobody rides the same exact line. I guess racers do. But like everybody else, we're kind of just bobbing and weaving left of this rock, right of that rock, whatever. So here's one version of the entry for Daniels, which is what I would do. So that would be essentially my high speed racer line coming from Farlow. 
um, very little off the ground. Now we're gonna do another line that might be easier versus race line. So let's get back up here. And uh, now I'm gonna take a line that I think is the safer line, the safer bet. So I'm coming right at Matt where he's at right now, which would be a lower speed, but less consequence. So line choice, line choice, line choice. Here we go. So I'm actually gonna come in through this side Nice and dialed in. Uh, definitely I had to go slower, but it's safer and it lines you up right for the turn coming out. So do you want more speed set up for the next turn or for that certain feature? Um, very, uh, very up to you. Very much so up to you. Okay, so we're gonna do a roll in here this first spot until we find the next spot to session. Um, we would be coming down Farlow to this entrance point, but we are just going to hop right in here to Daniel, Daniel's Ridge. I'm going to go when you are. Got a couple of our gears. Oh, 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 oh. through the creek. Just got to catch some pedals, catch up with them. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It's like Daniel. Matt, Matt's a, a man of few words. He just, he said, he's just, you better be ready to go when he drops. Oh. Okay. No warning on. <laughs> so, this is what I mean by like when you go out here and you got friends that ride in Pisga, like, there's no warning. He's just like, oh yeah, there's trail down here. And uh, yeah, yeah, just, just. Hang on to what you got. <laughs> I mean, we're both now 170 out front and we're definitely smashing out some, some travel. I just almost caught a pedal. Fun trail, nice and rocky. Feels very, an old trail. It's got some, some definite character to it. Ooh, almost caught the bottom of that rock with my pedal there. Little, you heard? Oh, the tire slide to pedal hit. Oh, watch out for that. Should we warn her? Yeah, yeah. Huh. I guess he does not care. He needs warning. Now he's going, so we've got to catch up. Oh, oh, oh bobbled it. Oh, I'm in the tree. Uh, I'm in the tree. Oh. Oh, in the tree. Okay, now I'm not in the tree. Huh? You good? That was, uh, that was interesting. So I did get a warning of, he pointed down, like, give me a little bit of caution in the turn. And in this turn, it's like a straight cliff. I'm gonna walk back up here. It's right over there on the trail, but Here's what you would have fell down into, and I believe it's right here. Like a straight cliff over there. So we're gonna make our way over there and see how close of exposure we were there uh, in the video rather than perception. So yeah, here is the trail, and then here is the drop-off. So when he was saying check up. This is three times zoom. This is one time regular and this is wide. I mean, we were getting it. I couldn't imagine if you came through here, came ripping through here and then it's like this, boom. Oh, like that's all the way in the bottom down there guys, way down there. Up in. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't do go off. Ooh. That was sketchy. I was not expecting more giant drops, but I made it through okay. <laughs> Did that look as sketchy as it felt? Yeah, you looked like you were going to land on that. <laughs> that was, I definitely just went for all the big drops there. But you know what? I like riding blind. 
I like not knowing what's coming. I like having that natural reaction of hitting a feature for the first time in the trail is, I love it. And uh, the B old, the B Ronson here, still kicking strong, upgraded to the 170 Mark II helm. Uh, just added 10 millimeter travel. Um, if you see my Cane Creek video, you'll see that we did that one. Um, so, always good times. A little jumpy man. A little jumpy man. Ooh. Grab some more gear. <clears throat> excuse us, excuse the pup. Sorry, sorry, I didn't see the puppies. One more. She's our fearless leader. She makes all the rules. Keeps us safe. It does. For your viewing pleasure, here's a little bit of gravel road. The most dangerous part of any mountain bike ride. Unpredictable traction and high speeds. the bottom of Daniels, Matt's out front again. He's just been whooping us the whole ride. But now we are pedaling up what? Going to where? Rochester, and then we're gonna turn left, and we're gonna go to Butter, and then we're gonna pedal up some more, and then we're gonna go down Butter. Go down what? Butter Gap. Gap, Club. Butter. It's just a lot of pedaling. It's like Butter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, babe. I thought this was gonna be like a two, three hour ride. It turned into more than that. And uh, we're just gonna blame Matt. We're gonna blame Matt, he's out front. Okay. I always play Matt. Matt's fault. Matt's fault. <laughs> we'll be back in here with some POV. It's terrible, but <laughs> I'm going to spin around here and get a little, little uh, behind you so I can get this trail sign in there. I guess we're going to continue the, uh, if Tara's okay with it, if I could follow Matt. Is that okay? Okay, let's see if I can keep up. I might have better chances now that I'm rested and I didn't just climb 4,000 feet and Matt make fun of me and laughed at me, dropping me the whole way. It was hilarious. But you guys didn't get any of that on video because... You didn't need to see any climbing. Okay. Matt, you're supposed to you're supposed to jib off this thing and jump this rock right here. Like right here. See? Like you gotta bump, bump jump. I just want to make sure you can keep up on video. <laughs> you don't need to lose me with the bump jump log jump. Thanks, man. Let's let Tara get back on. Rolling with the homies. Okay. So he's throwing the strokes. Alright, I'm in. Woohoo, nice. Nice call there. Top at the slab. Let's do it. Hey, remember, right, hey, then. you're riding great. And the brake modulation is so key. You're great at it. Oh, it's very grown in. Oh, I gotta get a little more gap so I can see my own line. Oh, oh, oh man. Blown out is an understatement here. Oh, almost got me there. Got okay, a little bit more gapping. I feel like we're riding slightly different lines. Oh. 
Oh. Sure that tree wasn't any bigger. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I popped off of one of them. He's brought the one on the left. Yeah, you had to go over high. Yeah. I had to drop and do like a front pivot kind of thing. <laughs> I had a line that took me high on it anyway. Oh. Keep rolling? Yeah, thanks. This time I'm going to leave a couple bike links and then try to reel in when I can. I was riding so close that I was actually not focusing on the line, focusing on him as the rider. That didn't help me any. Like that right there. Ooh, look at that. That's a, that was cool. I'll give that creek crossing a nice drop. Oh, okay. It's definitely chunky. Ooh, that's interesting. This is where I'm going to give a little bit more gap in here. Well, I wish I had less break in there. Less break in. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, so he's going that line. I'm just gonna huck off this line. Oh, you're right in the rut, you're right. That is some prime choice trail there. When it's wet, guys, I get really soft with my handling. Oh, Ooh. tire rippage. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> yeah, that's really... the rock slab that'll get you. Yeah, I was like, is it really that bad? And I was like, oh yeah, it's that bad. It's wet and off camera, like just riding the rut, riding the mud. Yeah. How much pressure do you think you're running in the back now? 22. Oh, good handling. Good catch, right? Oh. That arm is catching a beating over there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ah! Oh, that one slapped me in the titty. That one. <laughs> There's a thick branch in there somewhere. Yeah, it got me in the <laughs> that one got me. Oh man. Ten points if you ride that. Which one? The big one or the little one? Any of them. I'm gonna just see what they feel like. <laughs> I'll do the middle one. I'll do the... We're gonna rip the brake rotors and derailleur off. I'm gonna just see what it's like. Just to see what it's like. You know what I mean? What do you think, Tara? See what it's like? Viewers note, this is a bad idea. This is your idea. I made it through. Yeah, I just want to know if your bike is happy. Ooh, it's a hanger. <clears throat> okay. See? That's a box nine speed really right there. Just ripped it off into that log. Matt's terrible idea. It said, do it. I'll give you a high five. <laughs> <laughs> I think that size gap, I probably didn't better off trying to just bunny hop it. <laughs> waterfall. waterfall. Hmm. See, that happens Matt tries to talk you to do dumb stuff on the trail. Keep on ducking this right arm out of the way. What? Left side. Oh, he's trying to. Oh, that was freaky. <laughs> That's called riding blind. Your buddy speeds up. You better speed up too because something stupid's about to come up. 
cusp is really what that means. Oh. Oh, I can feel myself in between gears after that smashed. Oh, it doesn't sound good, but she's holding me. Looks like we're going to wrap up our ride. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Thank you for Matt and Tara from Nature Trails for letting me tag along on the ride and do a little filming. Had a great time on Daniels and Butter. Yep. Was uh, pretty amazing. A nice combination. A lot of times you don't get out and do these longer out pedals. How many miles was it? 19. 19. Just a little 20 miler in Pisgah. Just a little 20 miler in Pisgah. But goes to show if you want to go out there and have a good time, it doesn't matter what bike you're on, how many gears you got. What are your fitness? As long as you have the time, you should go out and enjoy a little bit of nature. Hopefully, I motivated some of you guys to get out there, pedal a little harder, don't touch the brakes, and I'll see you on the next ride along.